So this time of year, I get a lot of people asking about ATAR predictions in Queensland. Great news, I've got a new website. I think it's super fantastic. So if you are a student, go to atarpredictionsqueensland.com.au, go to our free calculator, and then just type in your subjects and your results. All right, so you can see it works for general subjects, applied subjects, and diplomas, and it'll spit you out a nice little ATAR here. Now that's really the end of this video for students, but if you are a student watching this, you should forward this email or this video to these people, one of these people, because they're gonna be interested in the rest of the video. So let's see what this website can do beyond what I've just shown you. So here's our website. Once we sign up, we can log in. I'm gonna log in and then I'm gonna show you what the screen looks like. All right, this is what the website looks like once you are logged in. And you can see we've got a few different kinds of calculators here. Let's look at the cohort calculator first. So the cohort calculator lets you import student data. Uh, now, importantly, the student data never leaves your computer. It does all the calculations on your browser. Your student data never goes into the cloud. All right, so download the required Excel template. This is what the Excel template looks like. Student names, subjects, and results. And you just enter those into a spreadsheet. You can have as many students as you want. Once we do that, we upload, quotation marks, our data to our website. We do that by just clicking choose file and going. All right, you can see, I'm gonna upload it. Watch how fast this is. It's fast because it doesn't go to the cloud. It's on your computer. All right, you can see, what do we have now? We have every student. We have the subjects they're doing, the results, the scaled score, the TE score, and the ATAR here at the end. Now, what I really like about this is the next one over here, which is the ranged results. All right, because we don't know what result our students are gonna get, we can create this range of results, which spits out a range of scaled scores, which spit out a range of ATARs for this student. We can change the uncertainty here. You can see this is increasing that range for us, which increases our ATAR range considerably. Now, of course, uh, let's go over here. This is just the super duper summary. Everything's sortable, so we can sort by highest ATARs. We can go over back to our results page and we can sort by subjects, whatever we wanna do here. Uh, finally, we have a school summary which gives you the idea of how many 99s, how many 95s we're expecting, that kind of thing. Now there is a single student calculator here. I'm gonna show you the single student calculator, but I'm gonna do that by choosing a student. I don't know which one, uh, let's go with Amanda here. And then we can view in our single calculator. Now, of course, you can just enter data freely into the single student calculator, but I already had some stuff in cohort calculator, so I've just brought it across. All right, you can see this time we've got the same thing as we had with our free calculator, but we also get this nice little graphical look as well, which is ordering things from highest scaling to lowest scaling. Let's click select range mode. And you can see this has allowed us now to look at these ranges of scaled scores for this student. Now, we're talking to our student, we're asking them about things. Uh, maybe Maths Methods was completed uh, last year, maybe they were like an accelerated student. If that's the case, we know that they're gonna get exactly 54. So doing that brings this range right down. And we can endlessly play with this and watch our ATAR ranges change. Now, maybe these ATAR ranges are a bit big, so we can use our quick range here, apply the quick range, and it's plus or minus four on everything and then we can start playing with these things. We can remove a subject because they're thinking about dropping a subject, let's say, and we can move forward from there. So single student calculator, great fun. You can click print here. It'll print off a PDF of everything you see here. It'll print off this and it'll print off this. And you can even click this button. Now, if you click export cohort PDFs, it will create a report of every single student in your cohort, get rid of this one, every single student in your cohort. It takes about 60 seconds to do if you've got about 100 students, but you'll have a file with every single one page PDF for a student. What else do we have? We have our set plan calculator. This is great if you're talking to year 10 students and you wanna talk about what kind of ATAR range they might be looking at. 
All right, so the reason this exists is because I want year 10 students to be able to know what kind of ATAR range they're realistically looking at with the subjects they've got and with their self-assessment of how they think they would go in a cohort of 100 students. It's a little bit different to guessing your actual result range. I find students are quite challenged by having to guess a result out of 100, but they can rank themselves against a hypothetical cohort, at least a little bit easier than that. All right, uh, now you're a Dean of Studies, Head of Senior Schooling, and a student comes to you and they're thinking about changing subjects. The classic is maybe changing from methods to general. Uh, for that, we can use something here, our equivalent calculator. All right, so this student is in Maths Methods and they are currently receiving a score of 60 in Mathematical Methods, great. All right, and that's going to scale to about 70.49. They are thinking about moving to general maths. All right, and so how do we interpret this? Well, if you move from maths methods to general maths, to get the same score, 60, you would need a score of 76.8 in general maths. Obviously, you can't get points, so you have to get 77 to get that equivalent of 60. What about a student who's doing a bit better than that? All right, well, if you're getting a score of 80 in maths methods, that's not possible in general maths. I'm not saying you shouldn't move, that's your call, but here's a thing that you might want to consider. Um, spending time in this calculator for a Dean of Studies, for a Head of Senior Schooling, I think is time well spent. Um, a classic might be someone moving from something like physics, because they were told that it scales very, very well, and they want to move to like maybe modern history. All right, so, an 80 in physics, to get an 80 in physics, you have to get an 85 in modern history for the same scaled score. Seems reasonable. What if they're not doing particularly well in physics? Well, actually, to get a 60 in, an equivalent of 60 in modern history, you only need to get a 53. Um, you know, you can play with this a little bit, random subjects. All right, and let's just jump in here, change that result. And you can see that it starts to give us an idea of how these things scale in relation to each other. Now to get an even better idea of how things scale in relation to each other, you can go to scaling graphs. Now what I'll do is just click view in scaling graphs here and we'll jump straight over to this tab. Okay, viewing in scaling graphs lets us see the scaling graphs for the subjects we were just talking about. Now if the view's a bit screwed up, we can just get a nice big picture, we can hover, we can see raw scores and scaled scores for these subjects. All right, really fun place to hang out here. You can check out accounting over time. These are the last uh, five years of scaling graphs for accounting. Generally, you'll see these scales move to the right as time moves on. And of course, we can compare subjects against each other. We can grab accounting and biology and business, let's say, and we can take a good look at those. We can view these crossover points, which are always very interesting things to take a look at as well. Uh, all right, that is the entirety of uh, the website. It's ATAR Predictions Queensland. Go and check it out. I think it's really fun. I think it's really fantastic. And I think it's a really great way to give your students information and let them make informed choices about what they're doing, about the subjects they're choosing, about the university courses they're thinking about, etc. So that is ATAR Predictions Queensland. And not everybody makes it to the end of a YouTube video. So if that is you, when you do sign up to the website, use this code and you get a discount. Super awesome. All right, uh, that's ATAR Predictions Queensland. Have fun with it.